gentlemen, we're going to the Golden Balls! Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, we did it. We did it. Barely. Just barely. <laughs> By one point. <laughs> one glorious point. It, it was... A lot of people I've seen have been wondering uh, why the judges did pick us when they've seen other matches, like the one with Witch Doctor and Scorpios. It's that. We actually landed hits before our weapon went down. So we uh -huh. scored damage points before the weapon went out. I know it was three minutes of sparks and chaos and everybody forgot about those first few hits by the edge. It was a good fight. They did a great job. They, they did. They never, Ups, no matter how much we hit them or pushed them, they just spin to win. Spin to win. Was Brian helping them that day? Probably. Probably. <laughs> It does act like a shell spinner at points. It does. But anyway, good job to everybody who fought in our bracket. It was a really exciting bracket. The Al Kindle put up an amazing show through the whole thing. Yeah. Orby really got his robot dialed in. I'm hoping to see him again soon. And we, uh, we're going to the Golden Bolt! We are the first um, gatekeeper to actually manage to keep it. And to celebrate, BattleBots released... Da, da, da! A shirt! A custom Scorpio shirt. This is actually my favorite Scorpio shirt they've released so far. Because it says BattleBots Legend. Legend! It's, it's official. It's confirmed. It's on a shirt, so it has to be true. They wouldn't lie, right? No. And we're giving this one away! It's a size medium! <laughs> Men's me Adult medium! So if you would like to win a awesome Scorpio shirt, please leave a comment of which of the robots you think we're going to fight in the Golden Bolt tournament, since we know the nine robots competing next week and the seven robots already qualified. Pick which one you think we're going to face. Ooh. And uh, most interesting answer will get themselves a shirt. Most interesting answer. Indeed. You heard it here first. Creative. But if you just love Scorpios and you want to help support the team, you can go to Amazon and buy this shirt. Do it. I did it. That's how you ended up with that one. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, enough plugging. I, I do know Hexbug looks at the sales of shirts. To Hashtag help not sponsored. Yes, true. <laughs> but you know uh, what else we got? Oh, what else do we get? Da, da, da. The Bounty Medallion. So... Each time they hold a bounty and someone is a legend, they print a medal. So when we beat Ice Wave, we got the Ice Wave bounty medallion. And we are now the third robot ever to win their own medallion. So Witch Doctor, Tubestone, and Scorpios. The three bots to maintain and hold their title. Okay. <laughs> and now we each get to wear one so you can finally share. One to two power! Activate! <laughs> Form of! Giant robot. Sword! <laughs> <laughs> and, and yes, we are going to... We've got this mounted. Now we need to go film a video driving around. Hopefully that... Ooh, okay. We need a better way to store that. Um, if you had a giant sword, how would you store it? <laughs> Winner gets a poker chip. Okay, apparently there's two giveaways in this episode. Speaking of giveaways, somebody won a sticker pack last week. Oh, yeah! 101 Rotary Power. We absolutely loved your comment of Trey making it to the finale of our bracket. And for those of you not in the know... Uh, Trey Roski is actually the president of BattleBots, and he does the most dangerous job at BattleBots. And I know people are like, it's a robot fighting death competition. What is the most dangerous job? He's the first man in the box with the robots need to be odd stocked, moved, or turned off. Or the fire put out. That's why he's known for having his crowbar and fire extinguisher as he goes in to wrestle the live 250 pound death machines. And for that clever answer and a little bit of insight into the inner workings of BattleBots, we are going to give you the sticker pack. Thank you. <laughs> eBay. Oh. We, have, we have parts. Yes. So. We are going to be keeping the top plate of Bloodsport we destroyed. Uh, they were nice enough to sign it. It's a great fight. It's going in our trophy shelf. But something we are putting up on eBay that is 
currently signed by the Bloodsport team, and we will go ahead and have the Scorpios team sign this before it goes up on eBay. This is the blade from the Bloodsport match. All nice, warped. You can actually see Bloodsport's tooth cutting through our tooth. That's hot tooth-on-tooth tooth action. And this is all twisted, bent, and slightly sticky. Um, but just the damage is incredible. We also have our sector gear that Bloodsport ripped the teeth out of. This is why our arm stopped going up and down. And so this piece minus the, we need the aluminum piece. So you're not getting this core piece that's in there right now. It's stuck and they might we, be getting it. They, you might be getting it, to be decided. Look at the photos when in the eBay link. If this piece is in there, you get it. If it's <laughs> not. not in there, you don't get it. This is a part of our weapon hub that keeps the gear attached that keeps to the, the gear attached to the arm. So if we can salvage it, because from the outside it doesn't look very damaged. So if we can salvage it, it's an important part to make other arms work. But if we can't, congratulations. You got a heavier piece of metal. <laughs> oh everybody, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Builder Blog. I know it was very short. We didn't do very much, but that's because we took a special trip somewhere special to record a special episode 75 for next week. Well, wait, was it special? It was. It was special. It involves a raccoon. And a kitty. <laughs> Maybe even two kitties. Stay tuned till after the sponsor card to see where we're going. Ooh, secretive.